I've been here just two two years. August first will be my two can have completed my two years here, and I spent 22 years in the Navy prior to that. Um, in total, um, we're uh, 550 personnel um, on staff, and it basically encompasses all facilities, maintenance, um, custodial, grounds, utilities. Um, and then we handle any construction renovation up to 600000 And then from a dollar standpoint, um, we're roughly $100 million um, with each year. And we're, you know, obviously a relatively large university. Um, you know, we have total, there's about 16 million square feet and the whole value of the buildings and everything and it's over four billion dollars so it's definitely a large scale you know um, university effort from a facility standpoint uh, we clock in at, at seven o'clock uh, get everything ready we get a uh, lot more and stuff and get everything ready and it's ready to go on up you know Areas. Well, we take care of all the grounds, you know, we mow the grass, pretty much anything needs to be done outside. We uh, weed eat, water, plant, whatever needs to be done on the grounds, we right. take care of it. Yeah, depending. Some people have areas, other people don't have areas, they just kind of do odd jobs, but the right. people have areas, we do pretty much everything you see out there. Uh, John Shoulders, uh, 29 years. I do maintenance, uh, put in lights, uh, keep people cool, just I'm more or less whatever people in the building needs and try to take care of what they need. Oh, well, uh, it's been been here eight years, and uh, well, it's uh, over at Van Steel, uh, in the factory job, and uh, they got bankrupt. So, from 2005 to today, I'm, I'm here still, keep keeping keeping busy. Mom, she's employed, she works at the, uh, the clinic down there, and mm -hmm. then she just said, you might as well try, and then, I mean, you can't beat the benefits and stuff here, so. My name's Mike Rogers. I take care of Maxwell Place, which is the president's home. Actually, I used to run a garden center at Kmart for about 11 years, and then when uh, I took a hiatus from that, and I went back to going back to taking care of gardening and grounds, and just so I hadn't worked out to where they were needing help when I was looking for a position here four years ago. So they beat your, I mean, they meet your um, retirement. You put in one dollar, they put in two. You get all your medical, dental, health, everything, all that kind of stuff's included. Well, we do a little bit of everything. We, you know, we uh, fix toilets, we uh, fix the fan coil units, AC, uh, lighting, uh, just a little bit of everything. We have um, about 80 people work each football game. We're there like six to eight hours before the game and then probably another, uh, you know, couple hours an hour or two after the game, then we come in the next day and kind of do the cleanup and everything as well. So when it, people don't realize them, like in the wintertime, you know, they just think all we do is mow, plant flyers and stuff. In the wintertime, as soon as it starts snowing, 3 o'clock in the morning, we're here. We're keeping the sidewalks clean. We keep everything. They always make a comment that you can't get around the city, but if you can get to campus, you can walk freely. You don't get into facilities management for all the pats on the back because right. usually you don't get many. Everybody, you know, around here gets along pretty well. I mean, you wave, you know, all the UK people, whenever they see somebody, you know, they wave. Some people, not so much, but I mean, you know, every so often you get one person walk by and say, you know, grass looks nice, it looks nice out here. So right. It makes you feel good whenever somebody says something to you. Well, you know, that's, that's probably a relative question. I feel appreciated, but as a whole, I would say it's one of those probably middle of the road type deal. It just depends on what area you are. Oh yeah, they, they should, yeah, that's your position. Yeah, the, the students, uh, the faculty, you know, uh, we don't feel like strangers. They kind of look, you know, at me as a person that's, that they, if they need me, I'll, I'll be there for them. So yeah, I, I feel like a, I'm appreciated. I mean, a good day for us is when the phone doesn't ring. <laughs> so.